Good Monday morning, and thanks for watching Market Day Report. I'm Christina Loren. With the downturn in cattle prices, beef producers attending the annual Angus Convention are looking for insight on the future of the industry. RFD TV's Janet Atkinson joins us on the scene. If there's one thing that you can guarantee discussion is about at the Angus Convention, it is about genetics. Now, we are joined by Dr. Dan Mosier. He is with Angus Genetics Incorporated. And, Dan, uh, let's talk about this first of all. Explain what AGI is. So AGI is the uh, subsidiary of the association that does genetic evaluation and genetic testing. So we provide genetic evaluation for both the Angus breed, Canadian Angus, American Charlet, for example, and then we also provide genomic testing services. Well, of course, the way that uh, cattlemen are selecting their herds and putting their herds together and building has changed over the years. Uh, tell us how this is playing a role. So as we're receiving more and more data, we're also, DNA testing is becoming a bigger and bigger part of the Angus genetic evaluation. That We only started working with DNA tests in, in EPD calculation in 2010, and now we're up to a point where we had over 100,000 animals tested for the evaluation just in the past year. An EPD, or an expected progeny difference, is our best estimate of an animal's genetic merit. It describes differences between animals, which ones will give you more or less growth or marbling or calving ease. Those sort of things. It's a statistical prediction of genetic merit. And so the genomics are factored in uh, just as another piece of information. We already use the pedigrees and ancestry of the animals. We use their own measurements or records as well as the data on, the, on their contemporaries, animals that they've competed against on the ranch, if you will. And then we also add DNA information. We're able to uh, identify which markers uh, are indicators of more or less of any of those traits. Well, Dr. Mosier, if there's one thing that's true, technology changes things so fast, but we can never imagine what's coming around the corner. Tell us what is coming around the corner as far as uh, genetics and genomics in the Angus breed. Well, we're able to select for a lot of traits that were otherwise impossible just a few years ago. For example, we have close to 30,000 feed intake records, which isn't that many compared to 8 million weaning weights, but with DNA technology, those 30,000 animals also have DNA tests, and so we can apply that to the broader population. So breeders, even if they can't measure individual animal feed intake, they can use EPDs for that trait based on DNA to start making improvement on those traits. And over time, we're going to see more of those unique things, uh, things like heat tolerance or fescue adaptability or altitude disease tolerance. All those sort of things are opportunities where we can measure a small set of animals, use the DNA to tell us uh, what, you know, which ones are better or worse across the whole population and make progress that way. Well, Dr. Mosier, thank you very much for joining us. Again, talking with Dr. Dan Mosier. He is with Angus Genetics Incorporated, serving as president of the organization. Now, if you wanted to learn more about AGI and, of course, uh, some of the genomic technology that's available and coming down the pipeline, you can go online to angus.org. On the road in Indianapolis, I'm Janet Adkison, RFD TV News. Thank you, Janet. And stick around for additional reports from the 2016 Angus Convention right here on Market Day Report and tonight on your Rural Evening News.